So you come in here, you got your three phase motor and you're trying to wire it for the low voltage setting. So first off, what you're going to need to do is make sure you have all the tools you need. So you're going to need your electrical tape, your wire strippers, your wire nuts, your Phillips head screwdriver, and you're going to need some like three wires for your power coming out. Now the first thing you got to do is you're going to need to take your wire strippers and you're going to have to strip all your wires. So you're going to need to find the size on your, of your wire and you're going to look on your strippers. These ones I use specifically, it's a 12 size AWG stranded wire that I'm using. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to put in the 12 and I'm going to twist and then pull and that'll strip the wire. And you're going to need to do that for all the wires you got. So once you got that stripped, you're going to want to hook up your neutral wire, which is down in here. That just hooks up into a little thing and it comes on you're going to bring that on out the top. Okay, then you're going to want to look on top of your motor and you see the low voltage setting and you got all of these set up. So you got your blue, brown, your white, red, your orange, yellow slash black, then your yellow, black, and gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the yellow, black, and gray and get those all wired up. So you're going to locate your yellow, your black, and your gray. You're going to look at the ends of these and make sure they're all nice. Twist them around each other so they're uh, nice and clean for when you're going to put the wire nut on these. Alright, you got all them. I'll try to line them up a little bit and you're going to get your wire nut. You're going to put these next to each other and you're going to shove them inside your wire nut. And you're going to twist the wire nut. And you'll keep twisting this wire nut until you start feeling resistance trying to turn the wires and not the wire nut just turning. So once you get to that, you're going to tug on all these wires and make sure they're properly secured. So as you can see, they're all properly secured. And then you're going to take your electrical tape you're going to have two wraps on everything. So that means you're going to have two wraps just on the wire nut itself. Then you're going to have two wraps on the area between the wire nut and the wires. That's where they meet there in the middle. Then you're going to have two more wraps on the end just on the wires themselves, your electrical tape. Once you have them two wraps, you're going to want to leave yourself a little bit and rip it. You're going to take that end and you're going to want to bend it over so if you need to get this back off or whoever needs to, they have an easy time of getting this back off. And then, so now here you got your, right here you got this set up already. So now you're going to move on to your orange yellow slash black. Now when you find these, you have your yellow slash black and your orange. But you're also, you're going to need to take one of your wires here so that you have a way for your power to actually get into your motor here. So you're going to have that wire lined up with those so that because this is going to be one of your lines coming out or one of your lines coming into your motor. So you're going to take those and you're going to line them all up again. You're going to take your wire nut, you're going to shove them in there, you're going to twist. Twist that again until you feel that resistance again on your wire setter. Just going to keep on twisting. You got that, and you're going to tug on them all again, make sure they're good in there. And now that they're in there, you're going to take that electrical tape again, and you're going to do that same thing you just did. Two wraps on everything. So you got the two wraps on top. And you got your two wraps on the middle. And you got your two wraps on the wire. And again, you gotta remember you could leave that little bit of tail on there. You can rip it. You can find fold that on itself. So you got a good access point for getting that back off. And that will be your line three marked on this motor, already done. And you're gonna move on to the next one, which is your white and your red. So again, you gotta grab your uh, wire here. Line them all up. Grab your wire nut. 
shove that on there and twist just keep on twisting until you get that resistance so it's good and grabbed so I'm tug on all that make sure they're good and secured and then electrical tape again so two on the nut two on the middle And then two on the wire. And get that little tail and rip. Fold that in on itself. Now you're almost there. You got your second line already done right here. You got your power coming out here. So then you're going to need to get your uh, next line here, which is the blue brown. Get them ends pretty good. Get that good and lined up here. You're going to want to put a wire nut on again. Just get that in there and twist. You get that resistance again as they start to turn. Tug on the back of all these. Make sure they're good and firm. Take your tape. Do it again. Two on the top. Two on the middle, and two on the bottom. Take the little tail, rip, and prevent that little grill on itself. All right, and then you're just going to want to take your power cords that you got coming out of all these, and shove them up in the middle, like going next to your neutral, your uh, ground there. Shove them on up in there. Get those up in there. All right. So you got them all shoved up in there, and you're good. You have your water wired. You'll need to put the motor faceplate back on, but I'm not going to show this in this video. But I'm just going to screw that back in. You got your wires coming out, and you're good to go for your low voltage setting on your AC motor.